Uh, my dad started flying balloons back in 1973. My first ride in a hot air balloon was when I was two weeks old. So I was always around the sport. It wasn't until my ac auto accident when I was uh, 21 years old in 1996 that I decided to really pursue getting my license. Um, I didn't end up getting my license until 2006 just because at 21 years old didn't have the money, the time. I was also getting used to being in the wheelchair and I got my license in uh, 2006 at that time making me the first paraplegic pilot in the world. And Michael had a car accident March 13th of 1996. Paralyzed from the T11, T12 and L1 and uh, he's come a long way since, since the accident. It was always his dream to become a balloon pilot. As a youngster, he was active in sports, which really helped him in his rehab. And he's become a very good, very good pilot as well. Yeah, first time in Battle Creek, and as a kid, it was an event. I always looked at forward. I mean, always wanted to go. Yeah. I, the ballooning magazines and stuff we would read at Don't those times. It was something I always really looked forward to. So I was really excited to get a chance to come up here, um, doing a couple events through the Midwest this summer, and Battle Creek's really the kickoff for it all. Flew with my dad, but I never got my license actually until after my license, uh, until after my accident. Um, more than anything else, it's just, uh, it's, being a pilot's just the coolest experience. It doesn't matter paralyzed or not. I mean, the only difference for me versus anybody else is I'm flying the balloon sitting down where they're flying the balloon standing up. I've done probably about 20 to 30 competitions over the years. I've really fo been big in the last couple of years flying special shape balloons. I fly the baby bumblebees. So there's three bees that I'll fly, mom and bee and dad bee, and then I fly the baby bee. We all fly as close as possible but I've been flying those for the last couple of years all across the country.